Want to know what's going on in video games, comic books, and movies? Well, you come to the right place. Let's powwow. Hello, welcome to Pow Wow, where we give you the latest in video games, comic books, and movies. I'm your host, Ahmad Lee. I'm your other host, Dos Lopez. And we also have Ryan. What's up? Ryan Blevins here. I'm Parker. Yeah. Parker Matheson. And I'm Rob Casey. And thank you so much for joining us today, Rob Casey. Okay, so as you guys know, uh, Orange is the New Black recently came out at the beginning of this month mm -hmm. they're in their fifth season um believe it or not there's been a lot of talk about this series there's a lot of people that don't watch this series that are considering watching it so pretty much i kind of wanted us to talk about i the reasons why i feel like sh people should watch it um i want to first start by saying out um the plot that takes place in season five um is following the death of um of an inmate called Pousse. That is her real name. Pousse Washington. Pousse, Pousse Washington. I think yeah. it's French or something. Yeah, they got weird, weird names. <laughs> All of them. But um pretty much she was she was uh murdered by a CEO. And one thing I like about the writer uh Genji Cohan, um she kind of takes real things that are going out in the world and she writes it but she doesn't sort of put it all in your face. Mm. You know, it's just kind of subliminal, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, so obviously, clearly, the background from that is, you know, police officers, you know, killing people. So that whole situation. Yeah. It could have been There's an accidental thing, yes. too, right? I mean, it wasn't an intentional murder. Oh, it wasn't okay. in the storyline that it was an intentional murder. He, no. He yeah. just overreacted in, in exactly. that scene. The situation kind of got out of hand. Um, so there, was, there was some sort of uh, commotion. And the situation got out of hand. He was trying to hold her down, oh, yeah. and he put his knee on the back of he put his knee on her back, and she suffocated because she she's very skinny, yeah. very very tiny yeah, lady. Yeah, she is very. Um, so she died, and then pretty much the inmates start freaking out. And, um, and that like was the end of season four. They left it there, a cliffhanger, yeah. Yeah. right? They had they uh, she mm -hmm. had a gun. She's got the gun pointed yep. at the guard. Mm -hmm. She's got a crowd around her who's screaming. Mm -hmm. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, exactly. and that was the end of it. Yep, right? that was the end. Mm -hmm. And then when we get to season, season five. five, what I like about season five, you get to see choices that people make and people not understanding their choices. And the reason what I'm saying about that, I'll use Daya, for example, like Rob just said, and you guys feel free to chime in. So Daya pointed a gun at a correction officer. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and there's a intense. point there's a point in the season mm -hmm. where she feels like she did nothing wrong and doesn't understand why she needs to you know mm -hmm. like it was like self defense or something but we find all people like that who who commit a crime and I don't even know if I should use that word because some things may be a crime to you but may not be a crime to someone else and I know that sounds crazy yeah but long story short all these women are in prisons. She did a good job making them seem like people, but what I'm trying to say is that... One of the things I liked about this show in the first four seasons yeah. is all the women took responsibility for their actions. They weren't all in there saying, I'm innocent, I'm innocent. Yeah. Everybody admitted some kind of guilt, right? Yeah. And the nice thing was they give you a backstory on each yeah. character a little they by little. They made them likable. They would make them likable, right? They would also made the guards sympathetic. Mm -hmm. They made some of that good, too. But then they also had the bad guards, obviously. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they, they, they give us the backstory on these people. So then I found season five was a disappointment compared to the other four seasons. Okay. I really okay. wasn't a fan of season five. In fact, if there's a season six and they do it like season five, I would suggest there's not going to be a season seven. But well, that's my question. I, I want to ask too because I'm just starting watching the show. Yeah. Because I'm that person that will, when a show is like near the end, they're almost done shooting seasons. I'll start watching it, like I did with Southern Anarchy, Breaking Bad. Right, Breaking Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, I remember people were, were making fun of me because I was sad at how Opie died in Sons of Anarchy. People were like, Man. "You're so behind." Like, well, that's that's how I am. <laughs> I mean, my next time I list is Game of Thrones. But to go back to the question is mm -hmm. that 
that a lot of shows do that. Like Walking Dead, they have those seasons where it's just completely boring, nothing really happens. Is is this what this season is? is this no, season I, really I honestly feel like in what you just said, Rob, like they're taking responsibilities. I didn't, I didn't see that in this episode. Yeah. I felt like they were trying to be heard out for certain things. And it's like, okay, you're in prison right now. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, I don't know what side to sit on because I was like, okay, just because you're in prison, okay, yeah, you need to be treated like a person. That's fine. But it's like, Drugs. you that shouldn't want to be that was the in big, prison, period. That was the big change from this season, right? Yeah. yeah. This was a different attitude that, it was. Each, that the characters had. Mm -hmm. They wanted to be victims. Right. And they, that's not that's not what made us like the exactly. show for the yeah. first four okay. seasons. So yeah. that's mm -hmm. why I found this one to be a disappointment. Yeah. And if they continue along those mm -hmm. lines, then I don't. I think they're going to lose viewers. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. And and and, and, not and I, and I completely because I felt like there was some sort of political agenda in this season. Yeah, I did too. But and it made everybody thin. It made all of the characters thin. I didn't think they had the depth that they had before. Yeah. Even in the backstories. Yeah. They did a backstory of one of the guards. Who cares? I yeah. could care less. <laughs> all it did, all it did is show her and some college stuff and some yeah. stuff. I could care <laughs> less. They don't do the backstory yeah. of some of the better characters that I think they should. True. And I, I, you know. I, I don't know where it's going from here. Mm -hmm. so, oh, back the backtrack. The original plot of it started out was following uh, Piper Chapman. Um, she dated a woman named Alex Voss. They were a lesbian couple. They were yeah. traveling around. <laughs> I haven't seen the show, drugs. but I, I'm aware of the basic premise and yeah. the original They're selling drugs focus. And then yeah. So she arrested. was actually, the true story, she was actually only in prison for a year. Mm -hmm. right. She only did a year. Um, she currently is married to a man right now. She's not dating a woman right now. Um, right. And I think she has Yeah, kids. she starts with uh, dating a man, or they start off, and then yeah. she ends up seeing Alex. She says she still likes women. And no, then yeah. they get together, but, yeah. and then the dude's like, bye. But... Uh, another another thing I wanted to just touch on really quick, like I said before, they played the victim card this time. Um, but like I said, you know, at the end of the day, Daya pulled the trigger. Mm -hmm. She pulled the trigger, but she said nothing. She did nothing wrong. So what I'm saying, like in life, someone can put a gun in your hand, but you have to pull the trigger. Guns yeah. don't kill people. People kill people. Okay, that's yeah. the big message of it. Yeah. But then there's the other... The, the entertainment value. Is that right? the so they had 13 weeks. Is that the message they of the 13, season? Yeah, that, that could be it. But yeah. They had 13 uh, episodes, mm -hmm. all prison riot. Right? Yeah. The whole entire thing's all this prison riot mm -hmm. story. And in, the, in their prison riot, it's, it's a great one because they developed a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. They developed a prison within the prison. They even had their own penal yeah. system for people who weren't <laughs> participating, right? Yeah. If they weren't participa uh, participating in the in the uh, riot properly, they, they had their own prison system for that. They so, and then the they had they made sure everybody didn't have any thirst issues. They had the Kentucky, the girl took, Kentucky. She's traveling around, get, making sure everybody stayed hydrated. Yeah. Uh -huh. So does the season kind of go all Lord of the Flies? Oh, the, uh, I think it was way off the rails. It, yeah, the thing was way off. Like the I rails. said, they want they wanted to play the victims, um, to let you know who's in it. Um, uh, Katie uh, Mulgrew. She was a star. She's a Star Trek Voyager yeah. captain. So maybe that'll make some fans yeah. want to watch that. And she's actually good. Yeah, I, I, I like she her. Yeah, she plays right Red. Uh, she plays Red, who's like this Russian right. mafia queen. Which I think is funny. Her name's Red because she's got red hair. Yeah, and then also um, Laura uh, Preppin. Yeah, she's from uh, that, that 70s, 70s show. show. She's not to, not to oh, spoil no, it, but at the end of yeah. the season, she has less red hair, by the way. Uh, yeah. I don't know that. Uh, <laughs> You'll see what he means. And then Laverne I'm Cox. Off. I'm turned off now. Laverne <laughs> Cox has been getting a lot of attention because she's All in right. the, um, uh, some some ho Rocky Horror Show. Oh, yeah, Rocky, Rocky Horror, Horror Show. Show. So she's a transgender actress. Cool fact, she's a twin. Mm -hmm. And they brought her brother in to play the guy version of her. Oh, is that how yeah. they did that? Yeah. So Bye. you'll have to see it. Um, if you got more questions, just shoot us an email. Um, I think Orange is New Black is worth a watch. Yes, yeah. season five, yeah. they played the victim card hard, but Rob. It's, it's worth it. And, and if they do that again, though, if yeah. they do that with season six, then I, I think then they'll you're done. a lot of people away. And yeah. You know who did that is... is uh, you mentioned it earlier is the the zombie one, Walking Dead, the Walking Dead yeah. one, and I I left after channel after 
uh, season six. Yeah. Well, the yeah. Walking Dead. As soon as we got was, to season seven, that was it. I was Walking Dead was good season, bad season, yeah. good season, bad season. You love, you hate it, but we'll 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 talk about it again, guys. So, yep. all right, thank, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Till next Bye. time. <laughs> Till next time.